Hi guys, welcome to this short video about a problem which I had with the Google Smart Lock. Yeah, I actually didn't even know what this is till this morning. I mean, I tried to do something and it always came with this Smart Lock warning. Of course, I have to blur this video a little bit because there's everywhere my email on it. Unfortunately, when Google comes up with this Google Smart Lock warning, there's this blue thing here, down here, and it always puts my email on top of it. I mean, it was not only on one screen, it was on different screens. I was uh, trying to make a video about the security camera, maybe every 30 seconds or so it came up with this blue notification down here. And the bad thing is when you click on that, I mean, there's nothing to click. It won't do anything. And I've done a little bit of research and I found only very difficult or difficult to use information, complicated things. I mean, everything which I have found, I will also put down into the description. But for me, finally, I have found a very easy solution. What I highly recommend to do when you are in this situation to find out where the problem is coming from, uh, go to your status information. I mean, go to the main screen and then pull down the menu with all the information which you have. And there's usually something down here saying, yeah, there was some problem with a Google login or so. Then you click on there and, and based on where you land in which application or which app, you will know which app had the problem. I mean, it's actually not a Google problem. It's not something on Android itself. Uh, it looks like there is something when you have an app and you allowed for a Google login, something like that. And in a sudden the apps decide to change the login process and Google cannot log in automatically. And that this could be then a problem for me. In my case, it was the Google app which caused this problem. It asked like for a two FA, two step uh, confirmation uh, authorization. And, uh, they, and they sent me an SMS and I had to copy the code from there into the login or also I had the possibility to choose again the Google login and then it worked. And from this point on, I didn't have any such annoying notifications anymore. So I think in most of the cases it will work like this. And again, if you still have problems, I'll put down the information which I have found. Uh, which has really a lot of information to solve such or similar cases. I will put down the link down into the description so you can click on that and uh, maybe you'll find more information. But for me, my solution helped me and I hope it will help you too. So if you have any questions or comments or other opinions or other solutions, just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.